Chapter Two: Counting in Groups. More or less. How many crescent moons are there? More than eighteen, or less than eighteen? Now we have five moons in a group. One, two, three, four, five. Simple. Now we have three such groups. So we have five plus five plus five equals fifteen. So we have fifteen moons. Therefore, it is less than eighteen. Now let's see another example. How many stars are here? Less than twenty, or more than twenty? There are three plus three plus three plus one. So that makes three plus three plus three plus one. That gives us ten stars. So we know there are ten stars in a group, and there are three groups here. So that's ten plus ten plus ten. Equals thirty. So there are more than twenty stars. Now let me give you a slightly tricky question. We have a whole bunch of hearts here. How many more such groups do you need to make the total to thirty hearts? Now we have three groups. One, two, three. Each group has six hearts each. So let's write that down. Six plus six plus six. Equals eighteen. What number will you add to eighteen to make it thirty? Let's see if you can get this one. Twelve. You're right. We need twelve hearts. So that's plus twelve to make thirty hearts. So we need two more groups of six hearts each. So that's six plus six equals twelve. Right. Counting in a line. Let's see how to count in a line. This is real simple, as you already know the order of numbers. Now here, I'm going to write a row of numbers with a few numbers missing from its place. So let's do that. Can you identify the missing numbers? What comes after 23? We can see these two numbers are already present. Now what's after 24 and before? Twenty-six. It's twenty-five. So we have twenty-five. Then we have twenty-six, twenty-seven, and then comes twenty-eight. After twenty-eight, it's twenty-nine, and after twenty-nine, what's the missing number here? I'm sure you can guess it. Yes, it's thirty. So then we have thirty-one and thirty-two. I'm sure that was simple. Now let's try one more example. Now let me write some more numbers down here. Here we have, if you look carefully, a missing number series. Now we start at forty-five, and then, and the next couple of numbers jump by five, so we have fifty, and then it jumps again by five, and we get fifty-five. Now, what do you think should be our next number? If you got sixty, you're right. Then we already have. Sixty-five, which is again a jump of five, and then what comes after that? We got to jump another five. That's right, seventy, and another five from seventy. That gives us seventy-five, and after that comes eighty. The next jump would be eighty-five, and I'm sure you can get this one. Yes, a ninety. That was really good. Now let's answer a few more questions based on this number series. Which number is at the third place? Now we can see here, this is the first place, this is the second place, and this is the third place. So we can see fifty-five comes at the third place. Now which one is at the seventh place? Let's try to find out which one that is. So this next number here is the fourth place. This is the fifth place. Seventy is the sixth place. What number is that? Seventy-five. Yes, seventy-five is on the seventh place. Now, which one is at the tenth place? Let's go on here. This one is the eighth, ninth place, and finally, the tenth place. So ninety is at the tenth place. 
practice more on counting in groups. You can take your parents' help to arrange different groups of objects for you to count. Well, see you soon. Happy counting. Bye-bye.